All right, so what I want to do now is create the login form in this box right here. And we're going to do that by just uh, creating a login view, and we're going to insert that login view into the main template in this area. Okay, so we want to go to Views, and let's go ahead and create a new folder called Users. And all our users' views will go in here. So let's create a new file and save that as login.php. All right, so in here we're going to we're going to use the form helper, uh, and like I said, the documentation is great. So if we say just CI form helper, that should give us the documentation page. All right, so in in I think the second video we added all our auto loaders, and one of the helpers we auto loaded is the form, so we don't have to include this. If you didn't auto load the form, then you need to put this in uh, somewhere in the class um, or somewhere in the view. Okay, so that'll just load the form helper. All right, so what this does is gives us pretty much a whole new syntax to create forms with, and it's made to to kind of simplify things and just um, encapsulate things. So this here, this echo form open. This is equivalent to having a open form tag. All right, so you can see right here, uh, this is the same as this. All right, what you want to put as a parameter is the page that you're sending to, which is usually the controller and then a method. All right, so this here would send to an email controller with a method of send. All right, and we can add attributes to our form if we want to add a class or an ID. We can put those into a, a variable into an array and then just pass that to the to, to the form open API alright um, let's see we have methods for adding hidden fields uh, if your form is going to have uh, in a file upload button then you need to use this instead of form open you want to use form open multi-part uh, form input gives us input tags alright so uh, we just echo form input and then add an array in there with all the attributes. So the name, ID, value, all that stuff you can add in there. All right. So this here is equivalent to this. Uh, form password, text area, upload, um, drop downs, multi select. So any form element you can think of uh, is on this page, and it'll show you how to implement it. All right. So what we're going to do here is first create our attributes for our form and our attributes is going to be equal to an array oh and by the way you don't have to use this form helper you could just as well put standard HTML uh, form tags alright so the array let's give this form an ID we'll give it an ID of um, login form and we're going to give it a class we'll give it a class of uh, form horizontal which is a bootstrap based class alright so that's our attributes now we need to actually let's close that up Let's echo the. I um, want to echo form open. All right, and in here we want to we want to we want to say where we want to send this, and we're going to send this to a, a controller called user, and a function called login or a method called login. All right, and then we also want to just pass in the uh, attributes. All right. All right, so now what we want to do, and let's close this form before we do anything else. We're going to echo form close, and that's equivalent to a closing form tag. So what we want to do here is add in our first uh, input, and we're going to use labels as well. So I want to put this in a paragraph tag. We want to say PHP echo 
form label. All right, so the form label is going to say username. And now we want to create a, an array of attributes for the input tag. So PHP. And we're going to create a variable called data equal to an array, which will have our attributes. So the first thing will be the form name. And the form, I'm sorry, not the form name, the input name is going to be username. Um, let's see, we want a placeholder. Placeholder is just, you know, the text that's there when you come when you enter the page. So this will just say enter username. Alright, um, we want a style. I'm just gonna add just an inline style uh, just for the width. So we're gonna say um, width is going to be 90%, so basically 90% of the box that it's in. And the last thing we need is a value. Now in Code Igniter, you can use this um, set value. And what this does is it makes it so if you submit the information and you have an error, uh, and you have to change something. What this does is it sets the value that you already have in there, so that you don't you don't submit a, a form and have everything go back to blank. This will save your spot. It'll save whatever you typed in username. All right. So that's that's really it for the uh, name, the username input. Let's just make this look a little bit nicer. Alright, so that looks a little nicer. And now what we need to do is say PHP echo form input. And we just want to input that data array. Alright. So the next thing we need is a password. So to make this go a little quicker, I'm just going to copy this. And our label will be password. The name's going to be password. Placeholder. Uh, and then we'll set the value to password. And this isn't going to be form input, it's going to be form password, or else it would just be a plain text box. Okay, and we're just passing the data, so that's it for that. Now we just need our submit button. All right, so I'm going to copy this, and we're actually not going to have a label. The name. So the name will be submit. Um, let's see. It's not going to have a placeholder. Not going to have style. Actually, we're going to have a class because we're using Bootstrap. I want the button to be formatted. So we'll say class is going to be equal to btn, btm primary. And for the value, um, the value will just be login, which is what the button will say. And we change this to submit. All right, so that should be our login form. Uh, if we go and reload, you don't you don't see it because we haven't inserted the view yet. So let's go to our layouts, go to our main view, and I can copy this right here in sidebar content. We want to say login uh, users slash login. 
Uh, wait a minute. User slash login. All right. So hopefully that works. Yep. So there's our login form. Uh, I do want to put a heading in there. So let's go back to login. And we'll put it in H3. All right, so our login form is all set. So I'm going to stop here, and in the next video, uh, we'll actually create the user's controller, and we'll have this form submit, and we'll look at the form validation library as well.